Hey guys, my name is Tanzil and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to see how to install Windows 11 on Oracle VirtualBox. And you must be aware that Windows 11 is the latest version of Microsoft Windows that you can get right now. So today we are going to see how to install Windows 11 on VirtualBox. Now even though I am having my host computer running on Windows 11, I want to install Windows 11 on VirtualBox also just to do some kind of testing or for experimenting with the operating system because I don't want to mess up my host computer because all of my work depends on my host computer so I don't want to experiment with it. Now for the experiment part, I want to do that on a virtual machine and that is exactly why we have the concept of virtual machines. So anyways, without any further ado, let's get into the download part. So if you have already downloaded the virtual box, then you can skip this part and get to the part where I am starting with the installation. But if you have not installed VirtualBox, then quickly open up your browser and search for download VirtualBox for Windows and then click on the first link in the results that is from virtualbox.org and then just open it up. Alright, now on the home page of the VirtualBox, you can see there are the download links for Windows Host, Mac OS and for other operating systems. And also you can see that 7.0.2 is the latest version of VirtualBox at the time of making this video. So in case you are already having VirtualBox on your computer, but it is an older version, then I will highly recommend or suggest you to download the latest version so i'll just click on windows host since my host computer runs on windows and uh, i'll just start the download it's 104 mb so it might take some time in the meanwhile we can start with the download of microsoft windows 11 in case you have not downloaded the iso file of windows 11 so for that i will open up my browser once again and uh, then just search for download windows 11 iso and then click on the first link that appears in the result that is from microsoft.com and then on this page you can get all the information related to windows 11 installation so it says that if you are upgrading from windows 10 we recommend that you wait until you are notified through windows update that the upgrade is ready for your pc so which means if you are running windows 10 and you want to install windows 11 then you should not directly download it from here and then try to do a fresh install instead you should wait for the upgrade option to be enabled for you if and when the upgrade is available for you, you are going to be notified in your computer in the notification center that the upgrade is ready. Then you can install the Windows 11. And then after that, just scroll down to the part where we have this option, download Windows 11, this image that is ISO. And then here, just click on this drop down menu, which says select download. From here, you have to select Windows 11 multi-edition ISO. Then before you begin, these are the prerequisites that you should have an internet connection, a blank DVD and your computer should have a 64-bit CPU. Yeah, that's right. Windows 11 does not run on 32-bit CPU. So it's official now. You need to have a 64-bit processor to run Windows 11. And for the rest of the system requirements, we can take care of them by managing the hardware profile. So anyways, I'll just minimize this and uh, let's click on download. Now after that, we will have to select the product language. So just click on this drop down menu. And from here, you can select the language which you want. Now I'm just going to select English United States or you can select your local language. That is totally up to you. And then click on confirm. Now the request is going to be validated and uh, then finally you will get this button that says 64 bit download so i'll just click on this button and the download is going to begin it's a big file 5.17 gb so it might take some time so you might 
give it a rest until it completes downloading all right now once the download is complete we are ready to start with the installation process so the first thing that we need to install is the virtual box so i'll just open the folder in which i have downloaded the virtual box you can open the folder in which you have downloaded your virtual box and then just right click on it and then click on run as administrator all right now we just have to click on next all right on this page also we don't have to change anything so just click on next uh, it's a warning that says that while the installation of oracle virtual box is in progress it's going to reset your network connection and temporarily disconnect you from the network so if you are downloading something from the internet then you may want to pause or hold or stop the installation till your download is complete after that you can return back to the installation and then click on yes all right then missing dependencies python core here also we don't have to do anything so i'll just click on next and then finally just click on install then it will be installed on the computer all right just click on finish and this is the virtual box manager so all the virtual box that we are going to create will be shown on the left side below tools but since i have not created any virtual machines as of now that's why it's empty so let's begin creating a new virtual machine just click on new all right then we have to type in a name for our virtual machine and since i'm installing windows so i'll just write windows 11 and you can observe that the type has been changed to microsoft windows and version has been selected as 11 64 bit just by looking at the name of the virtual machine so that's a feature of the virtual box all right anyways then click on this arrow which is next to folder now this folder signifies or shows the directory in which the virtual machine is going to be kept so if you want to change the location of your virtual machine you can just click on this arrow and then click on other and then from here you can browse to the directory where you want to save your virtual machine all right then under iso we have to select the iso file that we have downloaded so just click on this arrow and then click on other and then quickly browse to the folder where you have downloaded the iso file of windows 11 then just select it all right skip unattended installation so just tick mark and then all the options of this unattended install will be grayed out we don't need that and then under hardware tab we can allocate processor as well as the ram so for ram i'll suggest you to keep it at least 4 gb if you can allocate more than 4 gb it's well and good but at least keep it till 4 gb i will allocate 6 gb and then processor keep it at least two processors i'll allocate four processors since my computer has 12 processors so i can easily allocate four processors from them and then take care that this unable efi is ticked or it's on because windows 11 is going to need it all right then click on this hard disk tab and then under this we have the location of the hard disk file this is the virtual hard disk which is going to contain our operating system and it shows the location which we have chosen before so now we can allocate the storage i'll suggest you to allocate at least 100 gb i'll allocate more than that let the hard disk type be vdi and then finally just click on finish all right now we can just right click on this windows 11 and then scroll to start and then finally just click on normal start and let your windows 11 installation start up now this press any key to boot from cd or dvd this prompt is going to stay for only a few seconds so make sure you hit any key while this prompt is on the screen otherwise you are going to end up with something like this so in that case you will have to reboot your guest computer and if you hit any key then the installation is going to begin all right once the installation begins this is going to be the first window that is going to welcome you 
let me maximize the screen all right now the first option is language to install and it's going to have only one option so there's no point opening it up and then the second option says time and currency format now here i'm going to choose english india for you you can choose your own region or country and then depending on the time and currency format keyboard or input method is also going to change that's why it has changed to english india for me all right then just click on next now we have to click on install now because we are doing a fresh installation then the setup is going to start up now on this window we have to enter the product key now you just need to click on i don't have a product key and then later you can figure it out you can enter the product key later also and then from this window we'll have to select the version of the windows 11 so let's say i'll install windows 11 pro so i'll select it and then just click on next all right now in the next window we have to accept the terms and conditions then click on next all right now upgrade install windows and key files that means if you are already having windows 10 or 8 or 7 installed on your computer and you are trying to install windows 11 then you can upgrade in that case the windows is going to retain your file settings and most of the applications but since we are doing a fresh install so i'll just click on custom install windows only all right now on this window we have to select the drive on which we want to install the windows since we are doing it on virtual box so it's very easy we can just click on drive zero and then click on new since this drive is unformatted or it's raw so first of all we have to create it so i'll just click on new and then it's going to ask for the size this is the maximum size that this drive can take keeping apart the storage space that it's going to use for the system files since i'm not going to create multiple partition i'm just going to create one partition so i'll just click on apply and to ensure that all windows features work correctly windows might create additional partitions for system files it's okay just click on okay all right so you can see windows has created two more partitions for the smooth functioning of the windows and just click on this third partition that is primary partition just click on that one and then click on next all right then the installation is going to begin and now we just have to wait and let this installation be over it might take around 20 minutes as soon as the installation finish we have to set up our computer so it's going to ask some of the information from you before which you can start using your computer so the first window is this right country or region since i have chosen english india before so that's why windows can identify that the country i'm living in is india so india has been chosen automatically so i'll just have to click on yes and is this right keyboard layout or input method then i'll just choose english india and then click on yes now it's asking whether to add a second keyboard layout so i'll just click on skip then it's going to check for updates after that it's going to ask you to name your device so i'll just give a simple and easy name all right then click on next your computer is going to restart once again then how would you like to set up this device so i'll just click on setup for personal use then unlock your microsoft experience now you have to sign in with your microsoft account so if you already have a microsoft account then you can just go ahead and sign in or if you don't have a microsoft account yet you can just click on create one and you can easily create a microsoft account right away but since i already have a microsoft account so i'll just quickly log in all right now there are various benefit of logging in using your microsoft account which you can see now it's giving me an option to restore my computer if you don't want to restore it then you can scroll down where it shows restore from tanzil keep scrolling down you'll get an option where it will show you you don't want to restore anything and if you want to restore then just click on next then you can create a pin for your computer and if you want your pin to be a little longer with letters and symbols then you can click on this checkbox all right then choose privacy settings for your device 
now it's up to you which services you want to be enabled i'm going to disable most of them now that's totally my choice if you want to enable them you can do that now let's customize your experience now you have to choose in which way you are going to use your device so according to that microsoft is going to recommend the softwares or the ads on your computer all right then just accept then if you want to connect your android phone to your microsoft computer you can do that from here you have this qr code which you can scan using your phone so for now we can just click on skip because we can connect our android phone with the microsoft anytime we can do that later also so i'll just click on skip and then back up your files with onedrive now if you want all of your files to be backed up on the onedrive onedrive is just like icloud where you can save your documents pictures or videos so if you want all of your files to be backed up on your onedrive then you can click on next or if you don't want everything to be synced with the onedrive then you can just click on only save files to this pc all right now whatever files you want to be synced with onedrive you can actually keep it in the onedrive you don't have to sync everything with the onedrive All right, then finally we will be taken up to this desktop which is the desktop of windows 11 so that means our installation was complete and everything went very smoothly there was no error or no problem and you are free to use your virtual machine let's check some of the properties of the system it actually recognizes the real name and the real model of my processor that is intel core i7 10750h at 2.6 gigahertz that is my real processor and uh, i have allocated 6 gb of ram so it's showing that also it's a windows 11 pro operating system now coming to the point where we were supposed to enter the license key since we have skipped that part you can click on this product key and activation and then you can see the activation state shows not active now you can just click on change under this change product key and then enter the product key that you have and then your computer will be activated anyways that completes the installation of windows 11 on virtual box so i hope you liked the video and uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up and i'm going to see you in the next video in which we are going to install the guest edition of virtual box to get the widescreen display of windows 11 so stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching